Hello Survivor. This time, I will present you with everything you need to know about the Argentavis. Let's get started. Argentavis Atraculum is undoubtedly one of the kings of the island skies. Although it has excellent combat capabilities, this bird prefers to feed on corpses rather than hunting other creatures. The Argentavis is slower than the Pteranodon but much better for long-distance travel. The strength of its claws, beak, and especially the muscles of its wings allows it to carry extremely heavy loads. The ancient survivors designed a saddle that allows you to craft tools with the materials transported by the Argentavis. The Argentavis, or just Argy, was the most versatile flying creature on the island until the arrival of the Rhiniognitha. It inhabits the mountainous and arctic regions of the island and has an appearance that is a mix between an eagle and a vulture. It is territorial in its vicinity, meaning it will attack any creature that approaches it or appears in its short field of vision while it is flying. This causes wild Argentavis to attack you or your mounts if they cross paths with you during their patrol flights. This bird is a scavenger, so it is capable of detecting the smell of a carcass from a great distance and then rushing towards it to devour it. If there are other creatures near the corpse, it will attack them as well. Both wild and tamed Argentavis have an ability called rapid regeneration. If an Argentavis feeds on a dead body, it activates rapid regeneration for 20 seconds, quickly increasing its health and stamina in exchange for consuming food. This allows it to engage in long battles as long as it feeds on bodies. A tamed Argentavis is an essential mount and a favorite of many survivors due to its multiple capabilities. First, you can train it as an explorer and hunter since it has good stats in stamina, weight, health, and melee damage. The only disadvantage of this role is that its flight speed is not the best. You can use its claws or beak to carry creatures up to the size of a parasaur, making it useful as an assistant in taming small and medium-sized creatures by transporting them to a trap. It also allows you to latch onto it during flight, enabling you to perform more complex aerial maneuvers. Its main role is as a pack animal for carrying heavy resources. The Argentavis has a 50% weight reduction for raw or ingot metal, obsidian, crystal, stone, organic or hard polymer, and black pearls. It usually works in synergy with the Castroids for wood gathering, the Duodecurus for stone gathering, and primarily the Ankylosaurus for metal gathering. Make sure each creature carries the resources that weigh less in its inventory. For example, when going on a wood gathering trip with the castroids, transport the wood in the beaver's inventory since it has a 50% weight reduction, while the Argentavis doesn't. This way, you can carry twice as much wood compared to transporting it in the Argentavis inventory.
Finally, it is useful to know that the saddle of this bird functions as a smithy, which is mainly useful for crafting saddles using blueprints. The saddle is unlocked at level 62. As for taming, it is aggressive, and it is almost essential to use a trap because after a certain level of torpor, it will try to escape. The conventional trap is made with three or four stone or wooden dinosaur gates, although survivors have designed all sorts of more ingenious and cost-effective traps. Simply place the gate frames in a series with a wide enough gap for you or your pteranodon to fit through. Place one or both gates at the ends, lure the Argentavis into the trap, and then close it. Preferably use darts to shoot it, as there is a small risk that it may not withstand the damage from crossbow arrows. A level 150 Argentavis will require 11 pieces of superior kibble for taming over 40 minutes, or between 20 and 30 pieces of raw mutton or prime meat over an hour. There is a way to tame the Argentavis in a matter of seconds thanks to its fast regeneration ability. To do this, you must reduce its life while increasing its torpor. When it tries to escape, approach a corpse and be ready to knock it out as soon as it activates fast regeneration. If done correctly, it will fall asleep with the effect activated, which will cause a high food consumption. This will cause it to consume tame food in a matter of seconds or minutes. Argentavis produce large-sized eggs, which allow you to make superior kibble. The eggs ideally hatch at temperatures between 12 and 13.5 degrees Celsius, taking 2 days and 7 hours. Upon hatching, a baby RG will feed on meat and take 2 days and 7 hours to reach maturity. If its role is for carrying and gathering, assign all points to weight. If its role is exploration and hunting, allocate points to stamina, health, and melee damage. This was the main information about the Argentavis. I hope this guide has been useful to you. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Stay safe out there survivor.